Hello friends, today Aston Scarum here to guide you through a tutorial on managing your startup programs in Windows 7. Now it's quite difficult for people who want to delete their startup programs because they continuously irritate them and you can see I have a bunch of those here who just get off on the startup of the PC so I will show you how to get rid of them and how to create your own program run at the start that is running your program at the startup so the first step in this tutorial is to open the run dialog box which you can easily open using the windows key plus R you can see that I'm just going to drag it for you here yep now in the open text box you can just have to type ms config make sure ms c o n f i g now click on ok or hit enter this will bring the microsoft configuration utility yep here's the system configuration utility and here you can see five tabs general boot services startup tools now just go on to click on the start of tab now here you'll see list of services that start at the startup of the PC or the operating system now I'm just gonna expand it a little okay now for example you have to find the software name yourself for example here it is Microsoft and Carter dictionaries and daemon tool slide bitcomet winzip snagit I'm just gonna uncheck all of these so that they don't run at this startup I'm just going to uncheck them I'm just gonna uncheck Microsoft 2010 also. Proxy a burn. Give me a backup. Quick time. Give me a dashboard. Google Talk. I'll let Google Talk be in there. Now, uh, that's my choice. Uh, it depends upon which programs you want to disable. Now, that's quite advanced, I know, but uh, it's easy to do so just gonna click on OK and they will take effect when you restart but I'm not gonna restart so as to continue this tutorial for now exit without restart now if you want to open or run a program of your choice at the startup what you have to do is that make a shortcut to that program or if you have if you already have one then you just have to copy it to the startup folder. Now, the first question is where are you gonna find the startup folder? Well, you need not worry about it because Microsoft has made it pretty easy in Windows 7 to find up the startup folder. You can just go to the start button, click on all programs, and you will see a folder in the list as you scroll down startup. Now we're gonna just right click and open this so that we can see it as a folder now you can see the list is quite long here in the startup menu programs so now choose the choose the program you want to run at the start for example I would like to run um, G always idle for that I'm just gonna go to find its executable file And uh, I'll just open the program files window of G always idle, and as you can see, here's the executable file of the program. I'm just going to right click, click and send to desktop. That is going to create a shortcut. Now, just drag the shortcut to the startup folder, and you are done. It was as easy as that. 
now you're gonna have your programs running at the startup and you can disable them at any time you want using the system configuration utility so thanks for watching and please follow or like us on facebook.com slash techboys thanks for watching once again and live tech